Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to see ASME, Section 8, Division 1, UG 29, Example Calculation, of Required Moment of Inertia, of Stiffener Ring. We have, all these courses available, on our Thinkific platform. To learn, more about these courses, register with the link given, in the description. See, this is the given data. So, ID, 2000, external design pressure we are considering very high, just for the case, you know. So, assumed thickness is 15 mm. Okay, we have discussed why this assumed thickness is 15 mm in our external pressure chapter, UG 28. Corrosion allowance is 3. Vessel OD, we can calculate if the thickness is 18 mm nominal. 2036 will be the OD. And then tan to tan length. Okay. So these are the given data. We are providing two stiffeners. Okay. We are trying with two stiffeners if it can qualify the external pressure. So first stiffener we are providing at a distance of 1275 mm. Second stiffener, we are intentionally keeping a different data. You know, normally we will always try to have a uniform line of support with uniform distance between the line of support. Because if you have a greater line of support or length of the support different and it is the highest, then that is that will start governing. Okay. So always best way is to keep it uniform, but for this case, uh, intentionally we have kept uh, separate so that the calculations you will understand. Okay. Now we are considering T type stiffener. Okay. 100, 100 into 10. 100, 100 into 10. Now, guys, just one more, uh, one question here uh, for fabrication point of view. What will be your preference? Whether you will take a T stiffener, which are standard, or you will make this stiffener from plate. What will be your preference? So, Imanshu is saying plate. What about others? What will be your preference? Danish is saying plate, 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 plate. Okay. Everybody is saying plate. Why not standard? Anybody is not there with the standard? So, Amol is there. Amol is saying standards. I'll say. Yeah. Okay. So, when I when we select standard, we consider that because you know we will avoid unnecessary making the stiffener if it is already available in market as a standard. Why not to you know purchase and make that, bring that and make stiffener from that? So that is actually a problematic scenario because procurement will become easy of this T stiffener, but fabrication will be very very difficult. Okay. Fabricating a T section like this, you know, bending it in a OD format of the shell, it's a very difficult job. Okay. While making this stiffness from plate is very easy. Okay. You can use even plates which are there in the scrap for the same material, make it segments and weld it together, and you can make this stiffener. So, wherever possible, please give this stiffener as a plate because it will be more easier for the fabricator to do the fabrications okay so that was the point with fabrication point of view now let us do the calculation so first what we are trying to do we are we will calculate the area very simple cross sectional area two rectangles will add them okay so we have areas of the sections now to see we need the line of support right so we need the depth so h calculations so this is a formula with which you can calculate depth of any region so for elliptical we know it's d by 4 right but what about torospherical what about if any other torospherical which is not asme with different knuckle and spherical this formula you can use for any type of shape okay so it's a very useful formula you can note it down so any kind of decision, you will be able to get the depth with this formula. Okay. So once we have calculated the depth of the decision, so this is for elliptical. 
So in our case, it was elliptical head. So it's easy. It's H is equal to D by 4. With the formula also, it will come same. So this is my H, 500 mm. Okay. Now here also, please remember, you know, when we are doing this H calculations, you know, and this H is internal, the distance from internal, diff is internal. You may have to, or you should add the corrosion lance if you are any internal dimension is coming into picture. Because all the dimensions you have to consider in corroded conditions. Okay. So here for simplification, we have not added that, but you have to do the calculations. You have to add the corrosion allowance in the H value. Okay. Uh, next is uh, finding out that L1, L2 and L3. L1 is what? L1 we talked about L1 is, you know, the distance we already know, A value, which is where that stiffener we are locating because that is the value which we are giving. H by 3 we have already calculated. So if we add that, we'll get the L1 value. Similarly, L2 and L3, we can find out. Okay. Once we have L1, L2, L3, now next activity is, is to find LS1. Okay, so it's half of L1, half of L2. You know, we studied that in the theoretical portion that the LS1 value is half of L1, half of L2. So we can do, we can add these two. The next thing will be LS2. So half of L3, half of L2. That will become LS2. So now we have LS1, LS2 also available with us. Now, we are in position to find the required moment of inertia and we are taking a case where shell is also part okay that is the stringent case or maybe you know complicated case for calculation so we have taken that where your shell is also part of the stiffener okay so what is our first activity we have to find the factor b okay so to find the factor b we need this value P, D naught, T, A, S, L, S1. All the values we have already calculated. So we'll just put all that values here. External pressure is very high here. 2036, then 15 plus 1900, which is A, S divided by L, S1. Okay. That is the factor B. Once I have the factor B, I'll have to go to sub part 3 right part d sub part 3 we'll have to go to this chart from this factor b value i will move horizontal wherever it is touching this line because my temperature is 150 so it is touching here here it is getting crossed so now with this i will be able to find the factor a value now tell me what factor a value you will you are getting from this this graph see now this graph we have created considering the asme graph but this is not the exact same graph so you may get different values from the graph which we are showing okay intentionally we have created a, a little different graph to avoid the copyright issue so 0 0.008 right absolutely right so that is 79 or 8 that is okay right so if you want exactly same value, then we can use tables, right? Which are also there after these graphs. You can have tables also, which if you want the exact value, you don't want any approximation. You can use that. Okay. So this is the value 7, 8, 9, you know, or 0.8, you can say, right? So now IS days value, we have already calculated all that those values. So D naught I have, I have LS1. Okay t which is 15 mm then 1900 which is as divided by ls1 the first for the first stiffener okay so 1420 multiplied with factor a divided by 10.9 okay so finally i'll get this is dash value as 6885645 mm4 that is my required moment of inertia as per code. Okay. I hope 
you understood, this topic. So, stay tuned, with us. We will be uploading, the video of, Available Moment of Inertia.